What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. A two-hour live stream. Chantal promises that she may be back later, so this could potentially not be all we see in here for the day. But she goes through the normal hellos. Says, you know, she doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, that she only made the video yesterday for her fans. I guess the fact that she just got to have that meal was a bonus. She says she has takeout on the way. And then refuses to go kind of back into the license, the driving. And, you know, she reiterates that Salo loves her cooking, despite the fact that they get takeout nearly every other day. She says Sunday is the time she's going to go out for her first drive. And she talks about going to Starbucks. She says, though, she does try to avoid Starbucks because, you know, they don't align with her beliefs. She says the Beezers are like her kids, and that's how she feels about taking them out. And she said she's going to, like I said, probably go live later, but she wants to have another meal. She says, you know, the, the meal she's getting right now isn't all that interesting. And she says that her driving won't be the same in Kuwait as it was in Canada. She also says Julia's fine, the incision is fine. We see Julia before the end of the stream, and she's going to take her back to the vet soon. When the food arrives, she does that same thing where she's very quiet, she mutes the mic, she can't be heard. She says her hands smell like garlic, and she also kind of pulls the camera away and puts it to the wall while the food is arriving. Literally, this is 12 minutes into the stream. She could have just avoided all of that by waiting. Uh, she goes on to say, you know, she's a woman there, so she's protected, and she... I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know for sure, but I believe here's the call to prayer, but prepares the food instead. And she said that she has to run and use the bathroom before she eats. And she returns, advising everyone that she washed her hands. And honestly, it's what you used to see her eating. Huge pile of rice, chicken. After one bite, she's, you know, falling over herself with how good it is. And she, of course, starts diving into all the bread and she said she's not going to live stream while she drives, that she needs to be careful since, you know, the quote, haters are already looking into the loss. And this means she has to be, you know, extra mindful. And she says that she's having issues sleeping because Julia has been wearing the cone and she goes into how this meal was so, so cheap. They, they had to order two meals. They, they couldn't do without two. They had to meet the order minimum for free delivery. And the issue with this is we just saw her eat what by all accounts was bad meat and then make a meal with bad potatoes. We see these massive food hauls, and it really seems like a lot of it is just wasted because they end up getting takeout. You know, now granted, the candy, the chips, the butter, you know, any type of cheese, that, that all seems to be consumed, but, you know, pounds and pounds of vegetables just don't seem to be used. She starts to get into this back and forth with someone watching about her license, and she says that right now she's just withholding information. That's not lying. And she says the fact that she has a license is all she needs to know. But again, Chantel, you made a 13-minute video on this. The chat tells her to just cut out rice. And she says, you know, this isn't even that much. And she could portion it out. She actually eats all of the rice, so I don't know where she's getting some of that from. And she also has bread to go with it. She, of course, goes on about how cheap the food is, how she would miss the food if they left. And she tries to start some drama over the past Beezers, saying, you know, they short circuit once they leave. And clearly she's been on Twitter. Her past mods, her new mods have been going at it. And all of this is just recited while she mindlessly eats. It's, it's almost like, honestly, she doesn't understand that she's eating. You know, her mods come in and, of course, they strengthen the argument by saying this is still happening. You know, Chantal, of course, projects that no one has a life. And she says that, you know, she's already went out on her own, but she just didn't film it. And she, she leads in that, you know, people don't like her now, but before they didn't have any issues. And it's almost like she doesn't understand that over time, people's opinions can change. You know, she pushes back against the chat, which is trying to be helpful by saying, you know, they don't know her blood sugar, her A1C, and, you know, her channel is built off sitting down and eating. They bring up Shani wanting to box her, and she laughs this off. She says Shani can't even stand to box. And, you know, a big part of me thinks that this is really all going to come back to haunt Chantal. I mean, the way she talks about being a mobile and laughing at this stuff, you know, none of what she said about Jen aged well. And Chantal is doing little to nothing to change her ways since Jen. So why do we have any hope that it's going to get better now? The chat tells her that, you know, based on her status, she shouldn't get a license. And she just starts mocking people. You know, Chantal, the reality is you're 40 years old. You know, the, the flex that you have a license, the flex that you can drive, I don't know if it's what you think it is. You know, I would actually make the case that it says 
a lot more about you that it took two years plus for you to get a license, that you haven't attempted to learn the language, than it does getting it now. And after 50 minutes, nearly all the food is gone. And as I said before, you get the impression it doesn't even register with her that she ate. You know, she justifies it because it was her only meal. She wasn't feeling well. It was only a small portion. And she says, you know, people look obsessed talking about the amount of food that she eats. And we look dumb. That if she ate soup, people would still be outraged. And she says, you know, tons of people get their license and don't show anything. Again, Chantal, no one's no one's disputing that. I mean, the reality is, though, most people don't get a license, make a 13-minute video about it, get a license, say, all these things have changed, I can get my license. That's why it's a talking point, because at the point you're in right now, everyone has to take what you say with a grain of salt, or a bag of salt, or a small mountain of salt. And that's all of your own doing. The chat even tells her, listen, you eating like this can be triggering. You know, people have family members that are diabetics. And she says, well, then just stop watching. Don't be a snowflake. All the reactors are rage pigs. They only wanted her stuck in the apartment. Chantal, I can confidently say for myself, I don't want you stuck in this apartment. We want you out. We've, in most cases, encouraged you to go out. But, you know, we can only do that so much. You know, you sitting and eating isn't, you know, riveting. After an hour, she said, you know, she's going to continue to go on about the license. Doesn't matter how she got it. Everyone is just jealous. Everyone is envious of her now. And that she wouldn't risk driving illegally, which Chantal, at some point you either did or didn't before. She goes on to say, you know, nobody works but her. Her and Sal, only one that work. She tries to go over her driving history and how everything has just been fine. And the chat corrects her. She's hit curbs, animals, other cars. And as soon as this gets brought up, she excuses everything away. The accident was not her fault. You know, she didn't hit the other car hard. They also bring up the condition that she would drive in. She goes back, you know, this was three years ago. It shouldn't matter. Then she literally goes at two reactors bringing up things that happened more than three years ago. And, and laughs about f -Sham. She blames the accident she was in on her ex. And then she takes this long break to go get a three-in-one. And she says, you know, the raging she does is just the irony of girl world. That everyone else does worse to her, and this is just self-defense. She's back to Yaba. She's back to, you know, everyone just makes fun of her weight, and they shouldn't look at FFG. She said she needs to get back on the treadmill, and then gets the shisha, says the shisha's the anti-treadmill. And I just want to point out her own community post three days ago. I will never rage. You will never get that from me again, no matter how hard you try. No more snapping. Don't worry about it. Only legal action from now on, cuties. And yet here we are. An hour in and all of this. You know, the treadmill makes her skin better. The chat tells her the Sisha is the opposite of the treadmill. She says it's easier to talk about things rather than do them. She goes on to talk about Sansa, the cost of celery, justifies all her junk food hauls. And, and she says, you know, this is why people call her a liar. You know, going over the, the cost of the celery, going over eating so many pickles. And of course, Sansa is wrong. I mean, Chantal, listen, the fact that you have to use all these non-scale victories, full well knowing you don't have a actual scale victory to show, says everything. After 90 minutes, she's went after just about every reaction channel, but she doesn't watch them. Everyone else is obsessed. No one else has a life. And the chat continues to go back to the Papa John story, which, you know, she admits happened. She admits took place, but she doesn't admit what actually happened, right? She was live. She was doing things. We saw it. She conveniently leaves all of that out. I mean, Chantal, listen, you can rewrite everything you want as much as you want, because at this point, I think all it does is give you confidence. In one day, you know, whether it's luck, whether it's overconfidence, it's going to run out. And I'm going to be honest with you. If it runs out in Kuwait, you were in for the rudest awakening ever. Of course, she goes back to Cuba, how she was in the, quote, middle of a bad relationship. Omits the fact that she begged that person to go with her. We've seen those messages. And then she says, oh, I just got drunk and I raged. That's the story. I mean, that's really not the story. And you've repeated a lot of the same sentiment that you repeated in Cuba currently. 
But now she wants to say, oh, you know, now that I'm a Muslim, you know, I've learned that you can't drink. It puts you into a dark place and, you know, labels everyone trying to accuse her of having problems, to having worse problems, including taking pills, which again, Chantal, where, where are you getting any of this from? It, it's so much the same things you complain people do to you, you do to other people. And of course, to her, this is just all insane. It's people getting attention, but she gives them attention. You know, she talks about how all the mods, you know, turn against her and go crazy. I mean, two hours of eating, smoking, talking about what she's going to do, be it driving, be it treadmill. Sala is laughing in the other room, practically screaming that he loves Chantal. She's there yawning, going on and on about Aisha and, and how Aisha's world must revolve around Chantal. Sala is like cackling in the background. And at this point, Neither of them realize where Julia is. And some of the chat tells her, just, just let go. Just let go of reaction channels. She shows Julia. Julia's, of course, not wearing the cone. The incision, I will say, looks better today than really ever before. But she continues to smoke directly by a cat with an open incision. And, of course, her only response is, oh, she's fine. She's back to biting mom. She, she goes back to, you know, rehoming Sam and BBJ and the chat asks her, why do you continue to show Julia? You just said that you weren't going to show her anymore. The, the chat knows that all it does is just give reaction channels something to talk about, and so does she. She says she doesn't know why she brings it up. She just does. And again, like I said, she's going to be back in a few hours because she enjoyed, quote, venting about dumb losers. Chantal, seriously, I, I again, didn't cover your channel for a couple days, didn't impact your views. Even your own Beezers in this chat are telling you, listen, enough is enough. You've got to find something else to do. I personally think going out and driving probably would be more entertaining than this. You know, clearly you don't want to take the health arc option. But when you're seeing people that have been there watching the same thing for hours and hours and hours telling you enough about reaction channels, enough with the cat, enough sitting there eating all this food, it's up to you. You have to look at them and say, okay, my audience wants something different. And I have to do it. Because your videos, they are getting less and less viewed. The comments are getting less and less. Even with reaction channels. I mean, this video here could have been done at any point. Omitting the license information. This could have been at any point over the last eight months. And in fact, in many ways, you've done the same thing. It's the same insults. It's the same jokes. It's the same foods. It's the same wall. It's the same spoonfuls. It's the same everything, Chantal. And I got news for you. You are a lot more dependent on this than anyone else. Love to know your thoughts on this. Top comments from the last video. Appreciate you watching it. You know. Just like a takeout driver to Chantal's door. I'll be back as soon as I can with more commentary.